Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to this online course on legal language, legal including general English. This is lecture number 6 and today we are going to study listening comprehension. I am Dr. Divya Gupta, an assistant professor at GLA University, Matra. Today you are going to learn the intricacies of going through the listening comprehension. Why is it important to learn that listening skill? Basically when it comes to the hearing part, look hear and listen these two things are there when it talk when you talk about active and passive listening remember that active listening comes when it goes on while concentrating focusing interpreting sometimes analytical approach critical approach all these things comes together and perfect feedback also so this is what listening is all about but when it comes to hearing Remember, hearing is from ears and listening is from brain. So, this makes the difference. How are you going to listen all the things that are there in a proper meticulous manner where you can do wonders with that interpretation and analytics. So, now with that note, we are going to move further towards the analytical part and learn the outcomes of this lecture. Basically, like after completing this lecture, my dear learners, all of you being uh, like uh, a part of legal background, you should know that all of you would be able to learn many more things, many more things like here I am going to discuss something that what are the learning outcomes of this lecture. I am going to come up with several uh, different types of uh, passage also, sometimes some uh, like uh, comprehension so that you can practice very well with that and with the audio note audio note also you can definitely practice well at your home so yes of course the learning outcomes that like after completing this lecture you would be able to enhance legal vocabulary now in this condition you must learn that while concentrating and listening carefully you will learn the legal terminologies legal terms maxims, sometimes the words, phrases, so and so forth. Further you would develop the active listening skill that what are the points where you can hone yourself for active listening skills, for active listening because active listening needs lot of attention. Many people they lack attention, they only have short span of attention period, just for 15 minutes they can pay attention and then further they, uh, they are lost in their own reveries. Although they are sitting in front of you nodding, sometimes saying hmm, hmm, sometimes uh, they are giving such kind of expressions and giving using the shoulders just to express that they are understanding and grabbing everything, but no they are lost in their own reveries. So, please be very attentive towards active listening skills. Then further you will develop the comprehensive understanding of legal discourse. When it comes to legal discourse, legal interaction, legal communication, you would definitely develop the comprehensive learning. Comprehensive learning is a detailed one. Further, my dear learners, you will identify the key legal points the key legal concepts. I have incorporated the key legal concepts of active listening, all my dear learners. And along with that, you all will be able to learn the legal research methodologies also. Like once you will, you will uh, listen to it very carefully, you would be able to give the analytical response, feedback of the same thing. So, improve legal research and then you would be able to come up with effective communication, critical thinking that I have already explained, analysis and you would recognize the nuances and ambiguities. Many times you have seen that people from different backgrounds, they have a different kind of perception. 
but most of the time because of legal maxims, because of legal terminologies, it becomes so ambiguous. But why it becomes so ambiguous? Remember that because of the usage of these terminologies, which are most of the time giving you a different expressions, a different interpretations, because the context also changes, the words changes, context also change. So, in that condition, by having that kind of listening, active listening basically, you can definitely hone your skills of interpretation and reduce the ambiguity of any text. Generate ethical consideration. Ethical consideration means you must have the interpersonal, you must have the interpersonal skills to connect yourself with the sometimes lessee, sometimes with the victims, other times with the plaintiff, being a lawyer defendant. So, it is all depend on that also, right. So, you would be able to interact with them or create that interpersonal relationship with them on the ethical grounds. So, this is important. Further, you would be able to prepare a legal advocacy and client communication, easy communication with the clients, yes. And then further adapt to various legal settings, whatever the settings are, you can definitely adapt accordingly. So, this is what you can definitely, you can hone your skills, you can, uh, you can push yourself towards successful uh, interpretation and analysis by having a good listening skills, listening comprehension skills. Further, you would be able to resolve conflicts. In that condition, yes, resolve conflicts through listening. Now, in this condition, you must know that when it comes to resolving, I am going to write here, miss understanding leads miss communication and miss interpretation so these are three things which actually affect anyone these are three things miscommunication, misinterpretation and misunderstanding because of the, because of, his, of passive listening skills, understood. So, this is the most important part where you have to work on. Further, these are the learning outcomes and along with that, what are the, what are the contents that we are going to cover in this? The contents are common types of listening comprehension. We people listen to all the comprehensions like in an easy way. We should actually think about those steps one by one, how to listen to that. Active reading is there, but active listening is also there. A good listener will be a good speaker. Remember, a good listener will be a, spe a good speaker because it must learn the common types of listening skills, common type of listening comprehensions. Then you must know about the advantages of learning the art of listening. What are the advantages of learning the art of listening? Why is it referred to art? Because changes from person to person, ABC will listen in different manner, XYZ will listen in different manner, they both have different interpretations. So, it is the art only which needs creativity, okay. So, this is and I have given referred one criminal trial where I will tell you that how judges play an important role, how the verdict of the judges, sometimes the sentences, sometimes the uh, like uh, clients, sometimes plaintiffs, sometimes defendants, how will they be able to involve themselves in active listening comprehension. So, and yes, of course, you will see the connection the correlation between leasing, listening comprehension and legal proceedings. So, after that like you would be able to strike a balance, a correlation or connection between legal proceedings on one hand and listening skills on second hand. Because your whole task revolves around this aspect when you know that you have to speak and convince others. And when you have to speak thoroughly, remember that other person, if it is, if he is not impressed, it is of no use, right. So, with that listening skill, you can acquire the data and facts and figures in a proper manner. On the other hand, after accumulating that, you would be able to uh, like strike that kind of empathy, empathetical behavior and on the basis of that interpersonal skills, you would be able to come up with right 
right uh, decisions, right analysis. With this note, I would like to take you to the next level where you all will understand the introduction of listening comprehension. How these listening comprehension is a, actually a crucial skill, a very important one, you can say a pivotal role in that creation. So, in effective communication is often categorized into various types of types based on purpose number one, based on purpose second context, second context. So, you must know that on the basis of purpose, on the basis of context, your listening changes. The type of listening also changes, right? So, this is something really very important. Further, you must know that each type of listening comprehension serves its own purpose and comes with its own advantages. Advantages sometimes positive, uh, sometimes yes, benefits sometimes merits. So, listening is an art of listening involves developing proficiency in various types of listening comprehension. So, here I am going to come up with various types of listening comprehension. You would see that on the basis of its purpose, aim, objective that is the first one and context, the type will change, the type will change. Understood everyone? So, here we are going to study that listening comprehension. Now, common types of listening comprehension are like when it comes to active listening. So, how are you going to go on with active listening? I have already told you by focusing, by forming up a step, by coming up with several data. Like if I am going to tell you about the active listening, what are the key traits of active listening? If I am going to tell you something more about it, first of all, you would be able to Yes, for active listening be attentive, point number 1. Point number 2, I should write like this, attentive. Point number 2, you should try to ask open ended questions, open ended questions so that you can definitely talk about these things and get detailed answers, wh question words, what, why, when, where it happened without asking them the closed ended questions because closed ended questions will be definitely answered in one word. It will not allow the other person to speak much. So, try to ask open ended questions to know their views that is active listening. Third point you should know that it must have ask probing questions, probing questions why this happened, what is your opinion, request if you have any doubt then request clarification. I should write clarification. You must talk about the requesting clarification part. Then if it is perfectly fine, then try to paraphrase it and summarize it, whatever you are listening, right? Summarize it. First, last you must be attuned with, attuned with and reflect feelings reflect feelings. Reflect feelings with whom? <laughs> Come on, tell me. Reflect feelings with the client, with the plaintiff, with the defendant. So, being a lawyer, what are your take? You are going to be attuned with if he is expressing his grief, if he is expressing his sorrow, you have to be in that same uh, like uh, position. You have to consider yourself in the same position and go and understand the same thing. So, this is what active listening is all about, 7 key traits or 7 key uh, to be an active listener, right? So, these are the things. Then further, yes of course, you must have the critical listening. You must try to critically analyze certain things. When it comes to critical analysis, yes, you must ask probing questions to know the details of everything to know the data of everything. So, critical thinking is required. It involves analyzing, evaluating. I am going to write down first point analyzing, second point evaluating, the information being conveyed and whatever the decisions is like whatever in making decisions you can come up with, detecting errors or inconsistencies in arguments, develop deeper understanding of complex topics because critical analysis will definitely give a different view of the entire situation, view of the entire incident or the, uh, the position of the crime, what happened, 
when it happened so you would be able to interpret in a different manner looking up at the conditions so listen to each and everything in a proper manner listening comprehension is going to help you out to develop this critical thinking analytical thinking yes the next one is informational listening if you are uh, trying to derive the data informational listening that means you want to just come up with you have suppose you have prepared a questionnaire if you have prepared a questionnaire you are just reading that listening you are listening to that comprehension to fill up the answers to fill up the uh, the areas which are vacant how many people were killed why were they killed what was the reason behind the whole uh, scenario what the action then uh, who was the uh, person who came for fir so many things are there in informational listening you acquire information from different sources that is what informational listening is so informational listening focuses on gaining specific information gaining about why it happened about if i if i talk about the incident if somebody is narrating that incident you must know that how what are the things you are going to ask why what when where these are like uh, four five six w's where which are going to help you out why this thing happened what happened when where then you should ask about the who were affected so these are five w's these are five w's i should say w's like five w h question words right so this is really very important when it goes for any kind of learning now you must know about these uh, educational settings professional environment everyday life for task following directions learning new skills staying updated every time you should remain updated every time by asking wh question words right so acquiring information acquiring data acquiring facts and figures of the incident that has happened so listening skill listening comprehension is quite uh, valid to uh, or we can say it's quite uh, uh, applicable nowadays to hone your skills of active listening then empathetic empathetic listening is like coming up with interpersonal relationship you must involve the understanding and sharing the emotions this i have already explained you emotional support strengthens relationship helps conflicts suppose if your colleague comes to you and he says that i am pretty much worried about the assignment that i have to complete today and or the presentation that i have to go on today so you would should know that by simply consoling him will is not going to work out you should not include yourself but you can say yes even i also felt the same kind of tension when i gave my first presentation so you can definitely cool him by just uh, creating the same kind of confidence in his uh, like uh, by by reflecting yourself in the same position that is what we say that is an emotional connectivity so if the client is trying to express something to you uh, through that listening comprehension you uh, or maybe that report you after listening that try to be very empathetic further you should know that appreciative listening you must have the capable capacity yes i mean to say like if somebody is narrating something first you should come up with the kind of appreciation then only you have the right to say something negative negative feedback is also when you can definitely say something positive begin with a positive note yes appreciative listening so what are they what are they you can definitely talk about this thing and say listening is about enjoying and appreciating what is being said right it is valuable in the context of art music storytelling and entertainment contributing to personal enjoyment and, and cultural enrichment so you must appreciate that listening part you must try to appreciate the listening part and give positive feedback initially right positive feedback initially and then you can move on to uh say something if it is negative if something is negative in it you can definitely listen to it and then respond in such a manner so appreciative listening it could be any type of 
uh, listening art, listening music that gives happiness to you and it is a source of personal enjoyment. Then discriminative, discriminative listening, advantages of discriminative listening is focuses on distinguishing between different sounds and patterns in spoken language. It is essential for language acquisition, pronunciation. In my lecture on consulting a dictionary, I have come up with the audio tapes, with the audio aids that are provided, right, which are audio aids that I have provided in order to make you understand that, that there are various means where you can learn the pronunciation also. If you are not able to listen and understand any word, you can definitely refer to that pronunciation dictionary aspect. Thesaurus dictionary is there, pronunciation power is there, several other apps are also there. I have attached that one in dictionary uh, learning, consulting a dictionary uh, lecture. So, you can go through that one where you could, you would be able to learn the exact sounds of any word and thereafter it is essential to go on with language acquisition, pronunciation and effective in a noisy and challenging environment. Is that clear everyone? So, you would be able to discriminate between certain sounds. Having a good listening power, you would be able to understand the difference between two words, right? Two words in that condition. This makes a difference between them. Sometimes we, sometimes we, they both are similar spelling, but different meaning not similar spelling, but different spelling with different, same pronunciation with different spellings and different meanings. We all together, this is a per pronoun, personal pronoun. So, so, there are many words like this and you would be able to discriminate uh, through that discriminative listening. Yes, you would be able to know the difference on the basis of context also. Transactional learning, transactional listening would be different where transactional listening is in the form of formal communication situations such as when it comes to negotiation. Yeah, when it comes to negotiation, you must know to use that transactional listening. Listen to him very carefully first of all, whatever he needs to say, then you can definitely come forward and put forth your own ideas for negotiation. So, it aids in understanding the understanding and responding to complex information ensuring clarity and effective communication. This is very important. So, while going on with negotiation, yes, listening comprehension, transactional listening is going to help you out, okay. So, this is again a very important point where you would be able to know about the complex informations, okay. Then we have problem solving listening. How are you going to go and solve any kind of problem? By knowing the intricate part of that also. You can definitely give solutions to any problem by going on with active listening. Why? Because like the questions you do not know, the situations you do not know, once you have not focused on that aspect, would you be able to give solutions to it? No. So, problem solving listening is also very important and the advantages of it is that is crucial in brainstorming sessions, brainstorming sessions where some problem, some hypothetical situation. Some hypothetical situation is given to you and in that hypothetical situation you would be asked what would be your reaction, what would be your reaction. Now in this condition, yes of course, you would be able to put forth, put yourself in the same situation and come up with problem solving uh, listening and problem solving uh, like maybe coming up with the solution, with the resolution resolving it in a very different manner. So, it helps identify and address situations, address issues and find solutions collaboratively that means jointly, jointly and reach consensus, reach the consensus some kind of common decision, okay. So, this is what problem solving uh, like listening is all about. So, create a hypothetical situation and try to ask questions. Then we have therapeutic uh, listening which actually heals someone. It is therapy, it is a therapy. Nowadays people want pay, pay a lot of amount to psychiatrists where we are not, they are not getting anyone to listen. Here people are look forward, people they look forward for some people who can listen to their anguish, their anxieties. 
So, this therapeutic listening is also very important. It is a kind of therapy for them. So, therapeutic sessions uh, listening is also used for counseling and therapy sessions. Yes, we have personality guidance, we have some uh, like uh, consultancy. You can talk about uh, like uh, several sessions, counseling sessions which are held even at university level where you can understand it very well how to go through it, how to resolve this problem. They go and meet the counselors, they, uh, they perform such kind of task where they would be able to learn something more, how to resolve their problems. Some students they undergo some kind of problems, sometimes academic pressures are there, sometimes lawyers they also confront as a counselor. They, they also like uh, stand in front of the people and they and people try to speak out, vent out their problems. So, in that condition therapeutic listening is very much important. It is a kind of therapy which can heal the harms, the pains of other people. So, clients feel heard, heard and understood leading to emotional healing and personal growth. So, this is again a very important part where this thing plays an important role. Global listening, global listening involves focusing on overall messages whether it be problem solving, whether it be therapeutic, whether it be any kind of like uh, uh, acquiring information, whether it is related to some kind of like uh, teaching or preaching. So, it is all about global listening where all the overall messages and main ideas while ignoring the details. So, it is all about that like just grabbing the, uh, the moral, just grabbing the outer like uh, information that you want to acquire, not the details part. So, that is global. Further, now when it comes to learning aspect, you must know that what is the actual art of listening? What are the advantages of having and acquiring the active listening? Do you have some kind of tactic? Do you know? Do you really think that you are an active listener? Basically, by just following some tricks, some uh, strategies, you cannot say that you are an active listener, but there has to be some kind of uh, tactics, some kind of strategies which you can follow and be an active listener and derive the advantages of active listening. So, an art of listening. So, let us move up to the advantages of the art of listening, listening comprehension. Now, in this condition you must know that what are the advantages. If you listen carefully, first of all it would definitely improve communication. You would be able to improve your communication with others. With others in which manner? You would acquire the information, you would know more about that person, you would be able to interact, you would be able to give feedback, you will be able to raise questions, probing questions. So, obviously you would have the sufficient matter in your mind to speak. So, it will improve your communication, right? Learning is a never ending process. Keep learning, keep understanding each and everything. So, here you must know that improved communication. You can improve communication through, through art of listening. Effective listening enhances communication by ensuring messages are accurately received and understood. Second point which you should understand is enhanced relationship. Obviously, client and lawyer, defendant and lawyer, victim and lawyer, sometimes you can say the uh, yes witness and lawyer. So, it creates a kind of balance between them and creates that emotional connectivity. This is the way you can definitely hone your skills of building up repo, building up relationship with them. So, yes it will enhance relationship, active and empathetic relationship you can foster trust, you can develop trust among the people. Yes, you can develop that kind of trust where each and every person is ready to listen to you, to have like trust and faith in your sayings. So, relationship with friends, family, colleagues and clients are very important when it goes on with building up repo. Okay? So, second point, first one was it will improve your communication. Second point, when what is the art of listening advantage? That it will enhance your relationship and further you would be able to con see the conflict resolution. 
if there is a kind of conflict you would be able to find out the solution to that problem right problem solving nature critical thinking critical analysis and that is the reason conflict resolution listening skill are crucial in resolving conflicts peacefully finding mutually satisfactory solutions so here we can talk about uh, civil law civil law civil cases where where judgments are made out of the court most of the time right where judgments are made out of the court by just negotiation by talking with each other right and uh, in that condition yes this conflict resolution strategy is going to help you out with uh, with the art of listening better okay so remember problem solving nature and conflict resolution could be attained by art of listening then you would be able to develop the better learning skills better learning because acquiring new skills new knowledge if you listen somebody very carefully yes of course if you are attending the lectures acquire more and more knowledge from them yes so you must know about this thing further how are you going to uh, move further in your career also yes this is the most important part being the student of legal background you have to speak a lot you have to impress a lot you have to analyze analyze a lot you have to critically appreciate anyone you have to understand the mental dilemma of the person who has come to you so all these things incorporate together to push you forward towards the successful journey of your career right so being a good listener being a good uh, like having a good and strong listening skills will definitely lead you towards the successful or you can say the pinnacle of your career so career advancement highly valued in the workplace and can lead better lead to better job of performances and career advancements then yes of course it will take you to the personal growth as an individual if you are a lawyer you can definitely prepare yourself for the pcsj as an student as a student yes with mock trials with moot courts you can prepare yourself very well for those uh, for pcsj and for the other courses for the other post government post that you can go on so developing listening skills because every now and then we we attend the lectures right but how much of us are able to grab anything from those lectures this is something important okay so you must know what is the uh, basic thing we have to concentrate upon or just uh, focus on so developing listening skills can lead to personal growth by increasing by increasing self awareness empathy and ability to understand different perspectives so this is your way of dealing with it that how personally you are going to grow in this field so by attaining that art of or having the strong listening skills you can definitely hone this part effective decision making yes of course when you would be able to listen well that will help you out to go on with with making good decisions taking right decision at the right time right decision at the right time so this is your way your understanding part that how you are going to solve the problem your decision making power will will be will be enhanced if you go on with good listening skills by learning the case laws by referring to legal precedences by referring to several articles and journals that are published by uh, by referring to the sentences court verdicts sometimes so judges verdicts sometimes or jury panels decision if if you listen carefully you can reflect well yeah so these are the most important part decisions based thorough understanding of the information at hand so now i am going to come up with the criminal trial if there is a criminal trial what would be the judges instructions wow how witness testimonies cross examinations closing arguments would be there so i'm going to explain you each and everything one by one where you would learn that how judges would respond on the basis of good listening skill how witness testimonials would be there how cross examination could be there done if you uh, go on with good listening skills activity or what would be the closing arguments yes 
So, with this you must actually acquire this uh, learning that how these criminal trial would be done. Now, in this condition I would like to tell you that according to Indian Evidence Act, according to Indian Evidence Act, so what does it say? That according to Indian Ev Evidence Act, if a crime, if a crime is recorded, if a crime is recorded through, through electronic media, then it will be, it will be considered a source of fact. So, what have you understood in this? Like if a person, if according to the Indian Evidence Act, all the recordings would be done and these recordings will be act will act as the legal precedence for other cases, right. So, what I have tried to mention over here when we when it comes to criminal trial, the recorded the crime if the crime is recorded in any electronic uh, uh, medium or electronic device in that condition it will be considered the authentic piece of proof, right, authentic source of proof. So, now let us go up to judges instruction what he needs to say when he is having a good art of listening skills. So, the judge provides instructions to the jury regarding the legal standards, burden of proof, burden of proof and the elements of the crime. So, judge provides all these things to the jury panel, right. Judge provides instructions to the jury panel about the about everything about the findings you can say. Now, in this condition and the elements, effective listening will help these jury members to understand them thoroughly. So, this is what to uh, understand the essential and apply these instructions correctly. So, what is what I told you that uh, when it comes to Supreme Court or when it comes to uh, several other courts, they do have one CJI, uh, Chief Justice of India so like Supreme Court one chief justice of India and 33 others other judges. So, remember when judge gives the instructions to jury members, they will he will give some instructions related to what uh, about the legal standards, about the burden of proofs, so many bulk of proofs and element of crime. So, he would be discussing everything to the jury member, but jury people, jury members should have the skills, good listening skills, so that is to absorb everything. So, this is what judges instructions is all about, right. Second, if it is, it comes to the category of witness testimonials. Now, witness testimonial as the word itself suggests witness is one who is, you can say the eyewitness of the whole thing. So, witnesses are called to stand, to provide their account. So, you might have gone to the moot court or participated in as a student in the moot court you might have seen these two sides where stand provide their accounts of the events. So, this witness tells everything and discuss everything in the account with reference to the event that happened in a chronological manner, right. But now lawyers from both sides would listen to it carefully to reflect, to ask probing questions, to ask open ended questions in order to resolve their queries, ok. So, without that active listening my pretty learners, my dear learners you would not be able to do anything in that condition. So, remember lawyers from both sides ask questions, present evidences, evidence means proof. Jurors need to actively listen to witness testimonials to access credibility, authentication. authentication, right, identity inconsistencies and determine the facts of the case. So, you must have the idea of dealing with it, right. So, jurors should have the active listening skills, then only they would be able to uh, like 
check the validity, check the authentication of it or see the identity inconsistency if there is something like that or maybe cross examine the whole case. Without that kind of good listening skills or active listening skills nobody would be able to do anything. So, judges instructions good listening skill is required, witness testimonials good listening skills are required, whether you are a juror, whether you are a lawyer or maybe uh, on any, any side of this plaintiff side or defendant side yes you would be definitely asked. Third cross examination cross examination once you heard that witness what will happen during cross examination the defense attorney the defense attorney questions the credibility and reliability of witnesses present in the prosecution right i told you in the previous one also i told you that if if that witness is going to describe the events thoroughly chronologically then and meticulous manner this lawyer or attorney is going to ask some cross questions just to authenticate that whether whatever he is speaking is true to his knowledge or not, just to see the inconsistency or validation. Further, jurors must pay close attention to the exchange of evaluation, uh, exchange to evaluate the strength of the defense arguments, so that they can learn and pick some elements, some facts from his own words and could use them against him also. So, this is what your active listening is going to help you out. Active criminal trial in that your listening skill is supposed to be the weapon with which you are going to fight. Okay? So, last along with that come up with closing arguments. Even in closing arguments also you must know that how to tackle these problems. For example, both prosecuting and defense attorneys deliver closing arguments and summarize their cases. They would be able to summarize. If you are not listening carefully, obviously you would not be able to summarize it. You would not be able to paraphrase it. Okay? So, in that condition, both the prosecuting and defense attorneys deliver closing remarks, closing arguments and in that closing arguments, if, if that closing argument is required, how will you give the closing in, uh, argument? Closing arguments will be given on the basis of deep analysis deep analysis that could be done on the basis of on the basis of active listening right so this is the thing that actually revolves around that active listening part only okay so jurors rely on their listening comprehension skills to recall key points legal arguments evidence presented throughout the trial so, throughout the trial your listening comprehension skills are going to help you out to do wonders with your decisions. Okay? So, with that we are going to see the connections between listening comprehension and legal proceedings. Do we have a connection between them? Yes, of course we do have. We do have some connections with uh, listening comprehension and legal proceedings. For example, if there is a fair trial. If there is a fair trial, you must know that active listening by the judge, jury, attorneys ensures a fair trial. Fair trial that means a genuine, genuine decision would be taken. We think a fair trial to be a genuine decision would be taken, just expected, right? And now in this condition, what happens? Like, suppose if I say, a record of a record of the proceedings the record a record of the proceedings and the record of the proceedings is captured captured and preserved and preserved for the possibility for the possibility of appeal. So, basically when there is a fair trial, you know everyone listens it very carefully, whether it is a judge, whether it is a jury or attorneys, right. 
they definitely pay attention towards it. But remember the records of all these uh, legal proceedings, they are captured and preserved in such a manner that it could be used later on also for the kind of fair trials, for the kind of any other cases of the same kind, same type. So, accurate decision making is also there. This we have already seen in the previous one where the advantages we have done. Here this is actually striking a connection. If you are listening properly, your decisions would be perfect, you are correct. Okay. So, this is the outcome of legal proceedings often depends on the ability of the jurors to comprehend the evidence, to comprehend the evidence proof, proof and arguments presented. Because misunderstandings due to poor listening comprehension can lead to wrongful verdicts. So, yes, if you are not able to listen properly that will lead to misunderstanding and misinterpretation uh, and that will lead to wrongful verdicts on the, uh, on the contrary. So, this is what about legal procedure is, this is all about legal procedure. Legal proceedings involve complex nature. It is of complex nature like uh, defense and then arguments and then terminology, some rules, some statutes, case laws, sometimes like uh, landmark cases, recent cases, many other so and so forth. So, this is all about legal procedure and when it comes to legal procedure, adequate listening comprehension skills will help you out in each and every case for participants to understand and follow these procedures accurately, right. So, these, uh, these are few connections that is that we can see between listening comprehension and legal proceedings. Now, further I would like to tell you few more things where you would learn three stages of listening. When it comes to the listening part I told you in my active listening part also, uh, this is listening comprehension lecture, but in active listening I have incorporated several stages steps also. Three steps are really very much important or three stages are really very much important. Let me describe those three stages. If I talk about three stages of listening, if I talk about three stages of listening, I should definitely talk about, uh, let me write in a clear manner, three stages of listening, right. Now, in this condition when three stages of listening are there, you must know that first one is pre-listening, pre-listening, right. Second one is while listening, while listening and third one is post-listening. Now, when it comes to these three listenings, pre-listening, while listening and post listening, we have different stages where you have to work very well. I have discussed about the criminal trial, I have explained you everything. Now, it is the time when you have to understand that how this pre listening going to help you out, how while listening is going to help you out, how post listening is going to help you out. When it comes to pre listening, let me tell you few more things. When it comes to pre listening, the important thing that is that you have to understand is you must talk about the topic, you must have a little bit of introduction to it, introduction of the topic, right. You must have the introduction of the topic, then you must have the activate students, you must activate students, students students apostrophe s yes, existing knowledge. So, which kind of knowledge does these students possess? Third you, this is a pre listening stage, third you should build prior knowledge, build prior knowledge, clear, build prior knowledge and fourth in pre listening skills that you must define define what the purpose of reading or listening, listening. Is that clear? So, these are pre-listening strategies. First of all, you must try to check how much a student know about the topic. Second, 
introduce the topic, introduction of the topic. Third, you must build prior knowledge about the topic, a little bit of knowledge, maybe you can discuss them, discuss with them about the same thing. Third, you can, fourth, you can define the purpose of listening, that what is the purpose, you must know why am I reading this aspect. Okay, so this is pre-reading, pre-listening uh, skill. Now we come to the while listening skill. When it comes to while listening, obviously, it will help you to go on and learn something more about it. Partiality, what is impartiality in that condition? Let me discuss this part also. Along with that, then I will take you to the while listening and post listening. Because when it comes to impartiality, when, when you are a good listener, you can definitely come up with better solutions and better discussions. And in that condition, jurors must listen impartially to all parties and consider the evidence objectively. Why not subjectively? Because when you are subjectively participating in that, you would not be able to see the right thing that is happening in front of you. So, keep yourself subjective, keep, keep yourself objective in that condition. Bi biased listening can lead to unfair judgment. This is a tagline, remember. Biased listening, suppose he is your uh, relative or something like that, biased listening is going to lead to unfair judgments. So, if you want to take the correct decision, right decision at the right time, please do not uh, follow the subjective uh, approach to it, rather be remain very objective. And next, legal professions, in this legal profession, obviously everyone is going to be benefited. And whether it be judges, lawyers in our court, uh, in our case law, we have already understood about the same thing. Court reporters rely on strong listening skills. Then only they would be able to, if I talk about the court reporters also, they listen to it very carefully and then jot down the gist, the summary of everything. They paraphrase everything in that condition. So, this is how you are going to play. You are going to portray, not play, you are going to portray the exact data. So, now coming back to the spoken testimony, arguments and rulings, you must know what are the three stages of listening. I told you about pre-listening, how are you going to work on that? Now, when it comes to the next aspect, if I talk about while listening, I am just, I have here changed the uh, pen so that is, uh, it will be more attractive for you and interesting to you learn. So, what are the while listening as strategies? While listening means like you must uh, know you must read it twice, read the uh, or you can, you can listen, you can listen the, the, the comprehension twice and what would be the first reading and second reading? The first reading <coughs> and second reading. Now, in this condition, when it comes to first reading, you must know the main idea. After going through it, you must definitely come up, it is not like uh, uh, within a day, you would definitely be a very good listener, okay. So, just listen to it first time. You will be able to grab the idea, just an idea of the paragraph, of the comprehension. Second reading will be moreover acquiring the information that this paragraph or this comprehension is going to give you. Okay. So, first reading and second reading, they both are essential, right. Now, coming back to the next aspect, if I am going to take you to the next page and just describe about post listening, just concentrate on this side. What is post listening? In this condition, you must know that when it comes to post listening, that means you have already done pre listening, you have already done while listening and this is the third way, post listening. After that listening part, what are you going to do? Maybe you will come up with group discussion, right, to, to discuss the points with your, among your friends, so that you can elevate your answer, so that you can definitely give answers to your questions, to the provided questions. Second, you can definitely, with that group discussion, you can definitely talk about the decisions that were taken, common decisions. And along with that, you can definitely talk about certain other things. Like for example, if I say post reading, post listening aspect will definitely lead you to summarize, to summarize the main idea, right? You would be able to summarize the main idea in post listening. 
yes second composition based on on the material so whatever material uh, your composition is based you would be able to identify the uh, idea of the same thing then you would be able to create an outline outline the materials outline the materials they listed they listed to in or a writing or a writing using sometimes charts sometimes diagrams so these are various points which you can do after listening you can create chart you can prepare diagrams you can prepare uh, like sometimes like tables just to make sure that these people are really doing well you, this is actually the parameter on which you can definitely understand your listening comprehension skills right so pre pre listening while listening and post listening strategies are there stages are there okay so these things are going to help you out to gauge how much growth you are doing in the same field right so with this i would like to take you to the conclusion part where this this lecture has actually aimed to equip the legal professionals with the necessary skills to navigate the complexities of legal communication and fostering effective listening in various legal scenarios so i would like to come up with one more thing information that is really very much important if i talk about cji who is the current cji of supreme court chief justice of india mr chandrachur so he is like what has he done so in that condition chief justice of an india recently chief justice of india said that there that there has to be a changed mindset changed mindset and changed mindset and and instead of instead of taking a traditional view traditional view basically earlier all the recordings were not at not were recorded all the legal proceedings were not recorded properly and they were not recorded in a proper manner like two dual languages were used english and uh, like any regional language so here uh, like our chief justice of india mr chandrachur has said that we have to change our mindset mindset and bring about a change in the whole scenario and thereafter he has brought up several changes while bringing up the recordings of all these types and now with this note i would like to tell you that listening will make you perfect and listening comprehension skills will make you perfect in your field and with this note yes my dear learners that i would like to refer or come up with all these books that i have referred throughout these lectures legal english then further i have referred effective legal writing a style book of for law students and lawyers then we i have referred to legal reasoning research and writing for international graduate students then the elements of legal style and listening for lawyers that is american bar association so you must definitely refer to some books maybe these books or the other books to make yourself acquainted with that listening skill that how much these skills are really important for you to hone your skills of maybe like will take you to the topmost level of your career if you definitely have that listening skill comprehension listening comprehension skills comprehensive skills these things are going to help you out so my last but not the least guidance or remark to you or maybe advice to you that don't ever be a passive listener be an active listener respond very frankly raise some probing questions open ended questions where you can definitely instigate the other person to speak more and more 
plus after that at the end just take feedback and come up with decisions also that will help you out to inculcate the habit of uh, uh, of inquiring or acquiring a good listening skills right and remember hearing is done with your ears where listening is done with your brain so with this note i'm dr divya gupta signing off for now and uh, wish you all the best for your bright future